Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and of course one of the things we'll be looking at this year is the Microsoft Edge browser, the stable version that we look at here on this channel. So today we are of course January the 4th, 2021 and if you want to know if you have the latest version just go to the upper right corner and the three horizontal dots go into help and feedback about Microsoft Edge and here you should be, as of today, right now, 87.0.664.66. One of the things that a lot of people were waiting for, because it's available in the, so, you know, if I show you the, the dev channel version, for example, one of the things that we uh, could see is that in settings and in the sync capabilities, uh, there was and there is history and open tab uh, that is possible to have in between the different browsers. That means if you have tabs open, you can see them in another Edge browser. If you have your, of course, history of all the pages you've visited in Edge, it could be synced. Now, one of the things that is uh, was missing here is if you do go to the settings in the uh, stable version, in the sync capabilities, that is one feature right now that you see here I have a little uh, icon that says, nope, not available. So start looking at this in the next couple of days and weeks because more and more people today, January 4th, are saying that this has been actually turned on. So if you were waiting for this capability to be there, uh, go into your settings, go into the sync, and uh, check out for history and open tabs. It apparently is available and to more and more users. I don't have it here still, but it should be showing up any day now. So I'll be looking at that. Uh, this enables you, of course, to sync in between your Edge browsers. And you might say, well, you know, I have only one PC. I don't understand why that could be useful for me. It could be useful because if you have a smartphone and you have Edge on your Android smartphone, for example, that feature is now rolling out to the smartphones also. That means you could see what is open in tabs and the history that you have on your smartphone or from your smartphone, you could see the tabs or the history of navigation uh, on the web through that was done on your PC. And of course, this is available on all the platforms, including Mac OS and um, Linux, basically, because Edge is available for Linux now. So check it out. Uh, upper right corner, three dots, go to the settings. Check out the sync functionalities and um, look if you can actually switch this on. More and more people are now getting it, and that means you'll now have full sync of everything you do in between the edge browsers of every device, which is nice. Of course, we'll be also looking at all the new improvements, all the things that's gonna happen this year in the edge browser, that is for sure, uh, including all the um, capabilities of, uh, you know, setting up your per personal tabs and information and stuff that you want. Uh, so basically more and more options that are still missing in the Edge uh, stable version that are going to come up, including the personalization of your uh, homepage. So that's why here when you look, I have my own, uh, there are uh, places where I can have my own background colors and my, old, my own background uh, features in here. So this um, is available in the Canary and Dev channels, but it's not yet available in the stable version. So check it out. Maybe you could sync everything now on the Edge stable. And of course, we'll be talking about that browser throughout the year uh, for sure. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.